Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series Part 37. We are on day 69. Alright, so moving along. Alright, just a refresher. Carcass Harvesting 5, Cooking 5. Um, we read all the ice fishing books we had. Got us almost up to level 3. And uh, fire starting at 3, that's pretty good. Archery's at 3, not bad. Mending, I'm going to need to level that up a little bit before I try to do the... Uh, Bare bedroll uh, mending project. Hopefully the book gets us up to, to three. I don't think it will. But 65% um, chance of successful repair. Oh my gosh. That's that's not encouraging, right? So we're going to have to do better. Um, we might just have to risk it. But luckily, I think we've got a couple bears already. So uh, anyway. All right. That makes me nervous. So, um, a few of you want me to go over and hit, um, hit the, uh, well, that's not bad out, actually, is it? Oh, it's a little colder once you step out, but, uh, yeah. Why does it warm up here? Feel numb. I don't know. Porch heat? <laughs> heat from being on the porch? That's protected. It doesn't look like it's that windy, but maybe just enough to lower the temperature a little bit. Some of you guys want me to head on over to Forlorn Muskeg. Um, so I think we're going to do that. I'm, my goal is to get coal. There's like two cave systems that I'm aware of. There's one up north near the water tower. Or not the water tower. Shortwave tower. The radio antenna thing. And then there's the one to the south that goes to Bleak Inlet. Kind of in the uh, south. What would that be? Southeast corner of the map. So I think we could check both of those, and they provide good cover. And there's a couple little caves here and there if we need to dip in somewhere due to weather. Um, it's a little risky if the weather turns bad. But luckily, if you get lost in in uh, um, Forlorn Muskeg, you can always just drop a stick or an item and determine which way is north and south. And then head, as long as you know if you're south or north of the railroad uh, tracks, you can always head directly towards the railroad tracks and then follow that. Um, to, to safety, to Mystery Lake. So, uh, might take a big condition hit and all that, but it's, it's even though there's kind of featureless for the most part, um, you can navigate it if the weather turns bad quick. So, and, but you will take a condition hit, which is okay, because our condition's pretty good right now. Um, so long as we don't couple that with like a bear attack, we'll probably be okay. If we, if we get lost in the blizzard, freezing with a bear attack, we're probably dead but uh so yeah nice knowing you but all right um let's see here uh what can i do here at night i don't think there's much i can really do at this point um got three coal i was going to take three coal with me that was my plan just in case we need to get a hot hot fire going we should be able to pick up more when we get there um i'm going to drop this fir wood we're going to find wood as we go and i'll just pick up sticks honestly um i'm going to drop this as well so let's uh i'm going to fumble my way over here to the foot of my bed and drop some of these items right here real quick and then we'll uh we'll hopefully we'll have good weather in the morning and that's always that's always a uh crapshoot when it comes to interloper especially at this point it seems like uh the weather's just getting ridiculously bad okay two sticks that's a good start we're at 43 percent on the bow i'm okay with the bow for right now but uh definitely want to come back and make uh, getting a bow a priority if we have to spend time in here to wait for a blizzard i might start the bow so we'll see how how it goes here i would like to get enough maple saplings to try the uh, sled but uh and it takes four of those Let's see here down here yeah travois let's see here one cured deer hide two guts and four saplings this is expensive but we can pack it up apparently and and uh yeah, it can be collapsed uh, for convenient carry when empty. So it's got to be empty. So I could take everything off of it, dump it on the ground, and then pack it up. Move it up a hill. Unpack it. Or grab the stuff, take it to the top of the hill, and then unpack it and reload it, I guess. So I don't know how long this thing takes to deploy and, and, and uh, uh, package, but collapse. But it takes six hours to make. How long is this survival bomb? It takes, it takes ten hours. But we just spent a lot of time in the uh, outdoors in the last episode, at the end of the last episode. So should be good for cabin fever for a little while. Plus, we're going to be walking around. Um, yeah, we're going to be walking around. I don't know if I want to sleep. I don't want to sleep. 
I hate spending time, but I guess yeah, it's probably the only option I have for the time being. Let's just pass a little bit of time here. But um, we'll be we'll be spending time outdoors when we make it to Forlorn. Let's go. Okay. Get another Gotta drink here. Soon. Get a drink downstairs. Might need the uh, if I can't find the water. And I'm fumbling around here in the dark for you guys. Heck, I can't see anything myself. What was that? That wasn't it. Stack of papers. No, 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 no. Might need to do a water cooking session that too. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Eh, oh no, we got a couple. Okay, here we go. So, when we make it to the forge over there, um, I'll make sure that I have a. Uh, I do have a cooking pot with me. I'll take another. I'm trying to remember if the forge has a double burner or not. I can't remember. But uh, take another cooking pot with me, or so I guess I don't need to really load up on water because we just need enough to make it out there and back. I don't want it to really be too heavy. So, I guess I don't want to get too crazy with it. I'm gonna leave the coal at the forge in the because there's normally some in a little crate. I'm gonna leave that there because when we come back to do some forging for arrowheads and uh, inevitably a, a knife or a, or a hatchet if we survive that long then it'll be nice to have it already there we don't have to transport it there if we find a heavy hammer there I might take a heavy hammer and just drop it there if I can find one around here I'm pretty sure I have one around here somewhere so all right let's uh how much how tired are we we're about half tired yeah it's probably about time to to get some sleep I want to let's go back down and we'll see if we can sleep till the morning it's gonna be cold in the morning though um try to think yeah we're gonna be pretty cold when we get there i probably want to go north first because i'm trying to think if you go through the cave system that kind of there's a cave system that goes from one side of like where the tower is over to like there's a place where i spawned in and had a crazy i got attacked by a bear and a wolf at the exact same time when i first spawned in up there whatever that area is it's sort of up in the upper left corner um Whatever that place is called, um, I, I think I don't think it's accessible. I think you, so. I, I need it'd be best if I kind of went counterclockwise around that part of the map. Just try to remember. I think that's right. I'm sure. That, guys, let me know if I'm wrong there. But and then we'll fill up our bellies before we leave, just for the heck of it. If we get too cold. Before we head out, probably just like when we head down there, I'll probably just dip over to Trapper Homestead. Yeah. And uh, come in that way, I think. Like, go down there, warm up, and then come back. Or go to that cave right there. Okay. All right. Let's go get some sleep while we have some food and we're hydrated and all that good stuff. We're ready for bed. Have another drink here. We're not going to get a full night's sleep, but we don't really need a full night's sleep. We just need to make it to morning. Heck, I don't care leaving in, at night as long as the weather's good. Um, we just need to have a full full amount of energy. So um, Let's go ahead and go six hours, see where we're at. Try seven hours. Hopefully we're fully rested. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing really good. About ready to upgrade the old PC here. It's been about, well, what, 2018? So, 1920, 21, 22. Yeah, like six years. I have a Ryzen 2700 CPU and a uh, 2080 Ti. So, it's probably about time. But uh, I saw that Micro Center had a really good deal on a, uh, a 7800 X3D combo. With the motherboard and 32, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and then I was planning on getting like the 48 uh, or 4080. I was looking at the 7900, but apparently it doesn't work so well with VR and iRacing. Oh, I was hoping when I saw that fog it was gonna be nice and warm. Maybe it will a little bit later, but at least fog typically doesn't mean bad weather's immediately gonna happen. So I'm just gonna fill up here. Mm. 
There we go. All right. Drop that little piece that's left there. All right. We'll go back inside and warm up real quick. Look at that. I'm already, <laughs> already a third of the way towards getting frozen there. So, yeah, I think the weather's pretty good right now. So we have a secured maple, secured birch, birch, maple, maple, maple. We got a few maples. Okay, good deal. And then I wanted to take a hammer with me. I don't think I put the hammer in here, though. Be too big. Just take up too much room. That'd be like the only thing that I had in there. But the, then I need to offload a lot of weight because I'm going to try to come back with as much coal as possible. And other items, you know, that we can find. Uh, Forlorn West Guy, you guys are going to have a ton of items. There's not a lot of lootable buildings or anything like that. I don't need any of these field dressing books uh, or the Wilderness Kitchen anymore. So uh, cured leather, we'll keep that. Don't need it at cattails either. So there's basically half the stuff in here I don't need. Let's check the bottom drawer. I don't really need that either. Uh, and I do have a cooking pot. I think I'll just take the one cooking pot because, again, I don't want to be weighed down anymore than I have to. And that's a solid one kilogram. I think I'll just use the top drawer to offload for now. Um, I know I don't typically don't put arrowheads here, but you know what? I'm not going to do that because I'll forget it's there forever. Uh, seven cloth. I'm going to drop two of those. And that way I can make a hasty shelter if I need to real fast. Put these crow feathers in here. Um, cured leather. Probably don't need that with us. Emergency stem, always good to have, just in case. Um, magnifying lens, of course. Marine flare, yes. Painkillers, uh, Man, I would say no, I don't need that many, but with the way the way I get sprains... Oh, I don't need... Yeah, I don't need 18. I didn't realize there's... I didn't realize there's that many. Okay. Repaired rose hips, don't need those. Or the birch bark. Hmm. That's a reshi tea, is there... Those are both rushing teas. Okay. Need all those. Don't need that mushroom. Don't need that rose hip tea if we have the painkillers. I would think almost anything about now. Uh, sewing kit's good. Stone, we can pick those up anywhere. Uh, trail boots. Torch, always good to have to start a fire in case we need one. I'll have to try to build that while we're freezing to death. Uh, coffee, nice little pick me up in case I need extra little. It's not bad, honestly. We're at 23. I like that. I'm, I will take the perch, the the prepared birch bark in case I need to make some uh, some tea to restore my health. Um, might be grateful for that. It's, it's saved me more than once already. So one of these days I'll pick up those rose hips. All right, let's put that arrowhead up here, and then I should have taken the feathers and put them in here, but I didn't. Um, that's fine. Okay. Well, we should be warmed up now, and we're thirsty. So let's go ahead and dra grab that. I'm gonna grab another liter of water. Because we'll go through about a liter a day. Um, like we just did. Yeah. Wait, well, how, much, how much we have? Yeah. So I'll grab another liter. We'll make some on the road if we need to. Alright, let's go. Let's head out. No time like the present. I'm a little nervous heading over here because of the how cold it is and the weather and stuff like that. Oh, we got good weather for freezing to death and starting fires. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, torch out. Wait a minute, I don't want that one. Or, I wanted the... Do I only have that one? Oh yeah, you, I, I popped the other one on the way in. Shoot, I forgot to grab one. What was that noise? It sounded like a water dropping. Or like a water drop. Um, yeah, I'll take one of these. There we go. Kind of want to like... Wait here for a second. Yeah, let's do that. Last time. There we go. Now we're warmed up again. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm nervous. Going to Forlorn Muskeg has never made me more nervous. There we go. I have this in a hand, hand just in case. I don't think it really did much for that last wolf. I think we could have just done what we did. With our movement. Um, and I really didn't need to pop the flare. So I think I kind of wasted the flare. That's alright. So I'm, I'm going to work it, yeah, as soon as we get in there, I'm going to go to the right, kind of like where I went to go grab the uh, mushrooms that I wanted last time. And um, then we're going to work our way around the map that way, sort of. And uh, we'll see what the situation provides, because everything's adaptable in this game. We can't get too stuck in a uh, 
locked into a plan at the expense of everything else. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today's St. Patrick's Day. So you would probably be watching this the day after, so happy belated St. Patrick's Day. I'm guessing it'll be probably the 18th when I release this one. Alright. I know there's a wolf here, but I can shoot straight across and get through the tunnel to Forlorn Muskeg and lose him that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and power through here. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Dude. <laughs> Might as well get used to being cold in this one, because uh, it's going to happen. I have to take some rabbits out for food on this one. That's okay. We'll make it. We'll make it work. So. All right. I feel like Samuel L. Jackson in Pulp Fiction. Say cold one more time. Say cold one more time. All right, so we got the derailment up there. It's really tempting to go for that and then warm up a little bit, but I think we're just going to go around here like this and uh, suffer. So my goal is to keep an eye out for the for the uh, tower and then kind of go a little bit past it. And then uh, I'm going to get up high here that way. Keep the mountains next to me so I don't have to really worry about one direction be an ambush from one direction. Go go past the tower and then work my way up there. There's a couple little access paths going that way. So that's a I thought that was a house at first. I'm like, I don't remember there being one there. But uh gonna keep an eye out for for the saplings of course. Those are gonna be like gold for us. And we can also eat those cattail stocks, so keep an eye out for any of those as well. I think I collected a lot of them here. There's one I missed. Maybe I just never made it up this far. I don't remember. I think I made it up this far. I heard a wolf sort of hollering off to the left there. Like instant cold, man. We're just flying. Okay. We're just going to grab some sticks as we go. Up sticks, Willow West style. All right, so there's a bear cave over there somewhere. So we just need to be a little aware. Could be a bear in the area, but typically we get a little bit of warning unless we completely surprise him, like you know you would in real life. Risking it all for the. That's a good spot to look out from, right there. Okay, keep an eye out for saplings. I'm kind of just looking for sticks at them at this present time. I need to keep my eyes on a little bit of a swivel. So, should be good to have a good fire and for at least a little bit of time to warm up. Enough to warm up again. exactly where. There's a wolf over there. Just in those trees. Not a threat. Pretty far off. Pretty far off. Might be the one that's howling right there very quietly. But, uh, you'll see it over on the left side of the screen there. There it is. I think there might be two of them. That's just a one. Okay. Just looking around a little bit here. I think we go this way. Now, we can actually get into a uh, bunker underneath the uh, shortwave, shortwave radio, but uh, we need the Aurora, and then we could get stuck down there, too, I think is how it works. There's some more mushrooms. I might grab those, just in case. I'm trying to think. Can I get parasites? Or what is it? Uh, no, we're safe. I don't need to worry about that anymore, right? Yeah, we're safe. Could give me a little energy boost, but like a few hundred calories, but... Or a couple of our hundred calories. I 
Man, this is like kind of like gold. It's over that direction right there. Anything. More mushrooms. See something down here? Nope. Really not used to going this way, so please forgive me. Cars. I was hoping I could find a sapling of some kind around here, but I don't see anything. I'm sure we'll come across one eventually. Normally, they just, without me even looking for them, I'll just see them. I'm trying to find myself a nice little escape spot if I need it. Got some, uh, Nice. We got some uh, cattails here. If I need to warm up and, and heal up, I can always stay the night in the cave up here. And uh, just heal up, you know. But, uh... That's enough calories right there just to make it through a night of restorative sleep. So I think this is going to be our escape right here. This little uh, tree branch. I want to make sure I can get out onto it. Yep. I think we'll be good if I need to escape from a wolf. We can use this. So as long as I can find it again. I'll probably end up just following my foot footprints if I have to make a run for it. Don't want to have to use it, but if we have to, we will. Okay, so there's the, there's the tower. We're getting close. We're gonna warm up here soon. Reset the clock, not that it'll really matter. Because as soon as you walk outside, you're almost immediately freezing at this point. And negative 24 degrees. Again, it's not the worst, that's for sure. I don't know if I can make it up there or not. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. I think that's too steep. So. This way. There's a waterfall, which I think I hear. Yeah, there it is. So I think we can make it up this way. Yeah, yeah, here's a little access path. And then we're pretty close to this cave. So we're going to dip in there. There might be kept the coal in this cave as well. So this is one of those interior caves. And it's a, it's a, um, not really a transition. It doesn't go to a transition zone, but it, uh, will take you to the, another place on the map here. Not too far away. like coming over these blind hills like this. Makes me hella nervous. Okay. So there's a cave here somewhere. I can check the, uh, I'll check the radio once we warm up as well. I wonder if we can cross this or not. Might, might not be able to cross it, I don't know. We'll see. It's a little blue. Makes me a little nervous. Made it across, it's gonna run. Grab some of these cattail stocks, of course. Three of them, nice. Another night of regenerative sleep. Good, okay. Oh, there's the cave. <laughs> that was fortuitous. I happened to put me right in a great position to look over and see the cave. Um, otherwise, I might. Oh, there's some more over here, I think. I think I see some. Do I? Yes, I do. We're gonna have a lot of cattail stocks again. That's the one great thing about Forlorn Muskeg is there's a lot of cattail stocks. Those are just such great survival food, like long-term survival. Don't don't gobble them up unless you have to. But in this case, I'm not carrying meat through here and attracting a bunch of wolves, so kind of have to. All right, let's go and fire up our 
I can see okay, but I'm gonna fire this up for you guys. For the viewer experience here. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's get going here. There's probably gonna be some coal in here, hopefully. And I'm just gonna take my time, because I don't want to miss it. see a piece down there already. Okay. Very good. Down at the bottom here. Oh, that freaked me out for half a second there. Oh, there's another piece. Glad I didn't miss that. Okay, so we're up to six pieces of coal. Alright. That's seven. Or six, yeah, right there. I had three and I just picked up three. All these little nooks and crannies here. Yeah, there's another piece right there. I see it, right, right there. Check. Is this where we keep going? Okay, I don't want to go that way quite yet. Two more pieces. Yeah, good deal. Why are we heavy? We're already heavy. Oh, I'm at 30 already. Jeez, cheesy. Must be all the. I bet you it's all the sticks I picked up. Honestly, kind of went a little buck wild with that. All right, so. I'm going to walk back through the cave once we get down here and uh, and uh, go back to the shortwave radio. I think there's a, um, like a storage chest of those radio antennas. We'll see uh, if there's anything in there. I doubt it, but oh my gosh. I hear you, dude. I hear you. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of coal. That's not a bad little coal mine, actually. I could just uh, go down the broken railroad tracks and then cut, cut across. Be a little faster next time if I uh, wanted to raid it just for the coal. Come to the map and do that, you know. So, oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we definitely have plenty of coal and sticks now. I wonder if these sticks respawn. What the heck happened there? I think my game. There it goes. Well, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a new. So anyway, I'm getting a new computer system for the most part. It is, I haven't been having problems or anything like that. It's just uh, eye racing uh, on the. Uh, I don't want to go. That's that's how you get out. Uh, eye racing on uh, the Quest Three. I like to play in VR. Um, it's just lackluster. Um, can't can't really handle all the resolution that the Quest Three can push out. So um, that's the main reason. Wow, this place is a bit of a, a maze. I think we're going to circles here at this point. So, I want to double back here. I don't want to use it too much, much of my lantern, but I think we're good. Okay, let's head on back up here and then go upstairs. There we go. I want to dip out and make sure I'm coming out where I think I'm coming out, just to make sure. But, uh, we can definitely have a nice little rest. I could, oh, a rope. I, yeah, I think there might be a rope access point over here, but I'm definitely not going to be able to carry that right now. So, oh, that was a, I thought that was, I thought that was coal there for a second. There might be a piece of coal right here, too, typically. Hopefully there is. There's the exit. Okay, make sure I didn't pass any. Okay, I don't think I did. There's stones. Let me dip my head out here real quick. Just see where we're at. And we'll go back in here and we'll rest. Yes. Okay. So we're kind of like, all right, yeah, I know where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and drop all this stuff. Um, we've heated up pretty well. I'm going to go, yeah. Let me drop this coal and stuff here. Let's see, what do I got? I got, a, I got over a kilogram of cattails food. That's great. So we can survive out in the wild pretty well. We got, oh, uh, yeah, that's the problem. 37 sticks. <laughs> I, I know. We don't need to be that aggressive with our stick count. Um, let's have about 10, 10 on us, okay? Let's do that. That'll drop us down quite a bit. Um, we got a ton of coal. 19, 19 coal. We're in, I guess I didn't need to bring three coal. <laughs> sort of. Just the one cave, I got 16 coal. Is that, that's unbelievable. All right, so I'm going to keep three with me, but uh, drop the rest here. 
And I want to go back and get this. I'm trying. I'm not going to use my uh, lantern. I'm going to take the stick with me too. Um, I want to get go back here and use. Back to collecting sticks again. Okay. Uh, I want to grab the. Uh, oh, is there a deer carcass down here? Oh, there is. That might be worth getting. We need something to do to. Uh, we could use that hide. For sure. Yeah, for the travoy. Travois, whatever it is. Whatever this thing is. 84% frozen. That's weird. Because it's like 11 degrees Celsius in here. I don't know why this thing's frozen. Is it cold right, like right there? Nope. Not sure why it's frozen at all. It's ravaged though. So, got hide, guts. I can take all this stuff off, warm up. Yeah. I'll probably do that. Let's, can I just quarter this thing up? Would that be easier? How much time are we talking here? An hour and 38 minutes just to do all that, or all that time to quarter it, and then I still have to cut up the bags. That were an hour and 45 minutes that way. I have to... I can't quarter it with my bare hands. What good is level 5 carcass harvesting if I can't do that? Just start ripping apart a 84% frozen carcass. Alright, we'll just do it this way, because I really don't care. And I'm just going to go by hand, since it'll let me. There we go. <laughs> it's brutal. That's so brutal, man. So as you can tell, we don't have anything that we actually looted. Um, let me think. I need to head on back through the cave. Go to the signal tower just to see what's going on there. Because I'm a little I curious. A drink. Um, I think I'm going to put all my food. Where do I want to place all this stuff? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see here. I gotta find that rope again. It was sitting. Oh, here it is. I know it was sitting on a rock somewhere. I just can't remember where. Okay. So we're way down by this rope. And grab another stick. So we got even more sticks. Eight minutes per stick for burn time. So you guys can do the math. Okay, I wanna make sure those weren't. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. What the? Oh, this is my coal. Okay. I was like, what in the world is going on here? All right. So I think this will cure in here while we're waiting. There we go. And then, yeah, that's good. We're down to 32. 14 sticks again. Get rid of some of these. We're back up to two, over two kilograms of sticks. All right. There we go. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of all these. I can find sticks anywhere. Did I drop them all? I don't think I dropped them all. Maybe I did. Okay. Drop a couple of those. Just keep one with me. All right, now we should be much lighter. So not, not really, but the reason why we're fatigued right now is because we're tired. A little tired, but that's okay. We could use the rest. I just want to get this uh, rope deployed over here. Pretty sure that there's a deployment point, and I want to need to get the right clear out in case I run into issues. Because I started the game out here, and it was nasty. All kinds of hate were being, was being thrown in my direction. Made for uh, there's the there's the uh, uh, the anchor point right there, and we got some birch bark. That's good. Probably find another one around here. They typically, don't just happen by themselves. I think I see a couple. Yeah. So we can definitely make some tea if we need to heal up quick. There we go. All right. Got some rabbits over there. We can always hunt, but I also have deer meat inside. So that's good. It's good to see. Plus we can use those as decoys if need be. Let me go ahead and deploy this thing real quick. Let's deploy this rope. Oh, it's starting to get cold out here. It's starting to get... A little McNasty. Let's get inside. Are the rabbits inside yet? No, not quite. Yeah, so we came around this. There, there's my footprints. Please follow those back if I need to. I'm not sure why I feel so tired. I don't know. You've been working your butt off, man. That's probably why. Lost the free fire weather, so we don't have sun, sunny skies anymore. But we do have some nice wood out here to chop up if we need it in a pinch. So. That's nice. 
go. Yeah, we got like three nice pieces of wood, so we could definitely make this a laying up point if we need it. Too cold to think. All right, let's get inside. I think I think I'm just gonna rest, and we're gonna go hit the signal. Um, oh, the old uh, antenna, signal antenna, in the morning. But we can rest here for the night. Um, I know I got. Am I carrying the meat around? I think I am. Yeah, I was carrying around venison meat. 370 something calories and 900, so that's good. That'll help fill us back up. Um, Tongue feels like sandpaper. I think we're good here. Be happy with where we're at. I'm trying to decide if I want to start a fire, cook that meat, cook up some more water. We got plenty of firewood. We could definitely do that. Um, that'll take us to being pretty pretty darn tired at that point. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's go ahead and make a little fire here. And use some of these sticks. I don't need to use the coal because those that's going to be... I'm going to pick this stuff up, stuff up and separate it a little better. My organization here was pretty horrible. It's going to take me forever. It's like picking up... The amount of coal we have here is like picking up those... Uh, uh, it's almost like picking up the uh, rose hips. Jeez, we got so many of them. I think I have like 52 rose hips, and I'm like almost halfway there with the coal. So, gotta say, pretty impressed. Move that gut over here. Hide. Um, yeah, it's curing, so that's good. These are considered indoors. So, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. That that should be fine. And let's go ahead and get a fire going. I think I'll put my fire right about... Oh, I don't know. Where do I want to put the fire? Right here? Yeah, like right over here. That'll be nice. Okay. Let's do a fire. And I'm happy with that direction of it. That's fine. And, uh... Oh, shoot. I need to start with a... I need to get a... I need to use my torch first. There we go. All right. Okay, that looks good to me. 85% chance of success. I like them odds. And you should too. Fuel. There we go. Hour 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and cook this meat up first. 15 minutes, 39 minutes. Okay. There we go. Drop that piece of meat right there. Water. What is that? Two liters. So that's going to take a little bit of more time. So I'll, uh, Use some more of these sticks. There we go. Probably go out and chop up some wood too while we're here. This will be a nice little cave to, uh, like I said, this will be our north safe, safe place, safe, uh, safe house. Couldn't see the countdown there. It was, it was like covered up. It's kind of obscured. So that should get us through that pot of water. And I have, I have some pills if I can only get partially through the next one. But it should give us an extra couple of liters up here. Which, I mean, we're not that far from Mystery Lake. If, even if I start getting thirsty and cold all at the same time, we can still make it back to the camp without any problems. All right, there we go. we got a couple pieces of meat here. 386. And is it still 900? It's 1,000 now. Actually, what up? All right, um... While this is cooking, melting, I'm going to go hunt some rabbits out here. I'm going to go grab them. See what the weather looks like. Yeah, it's it's not great, but I think the rabbits are just straight down here. This shouldn't be too hard to find. As long as they're still out. Did I drop all the, uh, I think I dropped all the uh, stones. Normally they have stones nearby, though. Wherever there's rabbits, there's always some stones left behind. There could be a moose up here, too, I think. Oh, there's the rabbits. Okay. 
I don't want to use an arrow for a rabbit. De deteriorate my my arrow. I can find stones inside the old. Uh, I think I see some. Give me some stones, please. I need some stones. I see sticks. I need stones. Sticks and stones. Yes, yes, your ears are up, I know. See me. Might as well pick them up while we're coming. Be looking around. Mushrooms, which I don't need anymore. <laughs> I'm just passing by these things like, eh, whatever. I don't need any stinking mushrooms. Okay, no, well, there's some inside the cave. Let's head on back in. We'll come back out and snag a couple rabbits. Just lay down. Yeah, can't run anymore. Sleep right Too tired. Actually, I don't probably don't even need to hunt these rabbits. I think I'm just gonna leave them be. Actually, we'll just be happy with the uh, couple extra liters of water that we got on top of our one liter that we have now. That'd be great. Die if I don't warm up soon. So melodramatic. Get around there. There's a stone right here at the entrance. I think there was. I think there's a stone right here at the entrance. A couple stones. Yeah, three of them. Of course, that's exactly what I needed. Let me warm up. I might, I might head back out there. Let's get back by that fire. Shouldn't take too long to warm up. Okay, so how are we doing here? 32 minutes until boiled. We're warming up real fast here. Feels like 30. Yeah, so we'll just hang out here for a minute. Hour and 25. Yeah, we're going to be able to do another pot. That'll be great. So I'm just going to pass some time until it's ready. There we go. Just about right. Let's get this started again. Some more water. And then I'll probably make a... Let's go ahead and prepare some rose hip. Or, uh... Birch bark. Can I just do the one? I can just do the one. I need one more to make a second batch. But now we have two of those. I'll make two teas and uh, we'll be good to go. In case we get damaged pretty good and we need to really increase our health and during our sleep okay sit down fully warm um i'm gonna throw a couple more of those sticks on there i could eat a horse there's the sticks that i just found um and we should be able to go here take our time because uh i'm just gonna grab the rabbits and bring them back i don't need to i don't need to like harvest them out here or anything i'll just grab them take them back and if uh i get pinged by a wolf I'll just drop the rabbit. I know I'm. I know I can't like run right now. So if it comes down to something like that, I'm just gonna go over this way. I think it's probably easier. If it comes down to something like that, and there's a wolf that comes out of nowhere, um, I'll just yeah, drop the rabbit, let him have it. I don't I'm not that pressed about it. So let's go ahead and get our stones out here. There it is. Our little hunting stone. Before our hands start shaking too much. Hey, look, mittens finally. <laughs> I love it. So nice in this update being able to have mittens for once. Are the rabbits gone now? They go in. Oh no, they're still out here. Okay, good. They're like, man, that's just my luck, you know. Get all prepared finally for a simple hunt that really doesn't require anything at all. And I was ill prepared for. It. And then. I'm walking so slow, I might not get to him. Okay, there we go. There's one down. I'm just going to drop the carcass right there. Is there another one? I know you got friends. I saw them. Where's your friends? Can't feel my feet. Did they all leave you out here? That wasn't very cool. They saw me lurking. Oh, wait. What's this? A bunch of, bunch of birch bark is what this is. Now I'm ready to get some sleep. Nighttime's coming. We're going to sleep really well. We've been outside most of the day, so this is gonna work out great. Wait. I'm so cold. I'm cold. Keep stumbling over oh, sticks over here. There's just so many of them. Jeez. Okay, let's get inside. Let's get inside. I have to wonder if this wind is blowing down more sticks as we go here. I think there's another cave over here somewhere, maybe? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though. This isn't an area I typically come to very often. 
All right, let's get inside and get warmed up. Should be able to mostly get our health back. I'm not going to use a T for this because we're not in dire straits by any means. Just wanted to uh, naturally heal up this time. Be able to pass any piss test they throw at us. Alright, let's go put that rock away. Looking like I'm ready to do some serious damage with that pebble. Alright, let's get inside. Cool. So now I can. Uh, 36 minutes until boil, 39 minutes left there. I don't, I don't think the rabbit's gonna take that long to uh, part out. 20 minutes there, a hide and a gut. If I use the knife, it's gonna be pretty quick. Um, yeah, let's throw some more this on this here. Okay, I'll grab a couple more sticks. Okay. There we go. All right, 30 minutes until boiled. Let's just go ahead and do the part of the rabbit that I can do for 30 minutes. Um, which is mainly the meat. That's really what I'm really interested in. We'll do that by hand. And I'll throw it on the rock. While it, so we'll have three pieces of meat here, cooked, ready to go. I'll eat whatever that thousand calorie. I'll eat part of that for for dinner tonight. Um, should be boiling now. Seven minutes until boil. Can we do anything for a short amount of time here? Or make it quick. No. What about this gut? No. Do I want to use a tool? I could use a tool and it'll make it a lot faster. It really takes 28. 10 minutes. Let's let's gut it for 10. It'll be ready to take off. There we go. All I could think about. Okay, so grab that and um, how much time we got left here? 38. I think I'm good on water. I think we have like five liters. Yep, we do. All right, so I'm gonna drop that rabbit over here. There we go. What I am gonna do over here is I'm gonna cook up some birch bark tea. So we're gonna do that. That won't take very long at all. 25 minutes on that. Yeah, that's gonna be great. When we get done with it, now I need to really pee when I heard it. Make that noise. Like real life. <laughs> now luckily, I guess we're coming towards the end of this episode, but that sound when it pours the water in there for the birch bark tea just messed with my head right there. 22 minutes until that's ready, um, and then we can I can I can always harvest the hide. Um, I don't want to burn the uh, birch bark tea. That's my that's my thinking though. It's 28. Uh, why? why I, sh I shouldn't even use a tool. I don't think I should have used a tool for the guts either. Oh well. Okay. So the tea takes a quarter of a liter. It takes 0.25 liters out of your water and puts it into the tea. So, all right take that we're gonna do another one and I'll make a cup of coffee too so we have a couple cups of coffee no 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 don't no take it yeah I can only make the I guess I can only make the one I need to cook it there we go that's what I wanted to do that sound right there <laughs> all right so we're pretty well lined up here it's not too bad so 20 minutes left on the fire Till burned. Nine minutes left on the fire. Pretty happy with everything. Oh, I have I have a raw. I have a, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Embers or not really embers, but I still have a piece of meat I need to cook. Yep. Yep. I need to cook that. I thought I just had the one big piece. Ten minutes. Thirteen minutes. Perfect. Take my cooking pot. There we go. How much is this? 563 calories. That's that's not bad. That's a kilogram. This is going to be not quite as much. Yeah, it's 175 calories. So, all right, and we'll get to that heart carcass here in a minute. But 5% uh, cured. Cool. 5% on that as well. Nice. I'm going to leave these guts here because I don't want they do stink. So I don't want to pull wolves or whatever else. But we'll leave it here. Two minutes until ready. All right, we'll just. I don't know why. Why did I pick that up? Oh, that's from the rabbit. It's like I thought I picked up one of these. Okay, yeah. So, got some more guts there going. All right. 
Well, that's not bad. Um, think I'm just gonna go ahead and get some rest. Eat one of these pieces of meat. Oh, it just got dark in here really fast. Let me get you guys some light. There's no grace period there, it just went out. Okay. So that's three hundred and eighty-six calories. Yeah, I'll do that one in this. That's not what I wanted. I have the other one, don't I? I think I have the other piece of rabbit meat. So I'll eat these. Red definitely ready for some sleep. 36 calories. I thought I had another piece of. I guess it's just. Did I just have the one venison? Okay. So I don't need to eat much of this. Just a little bit. Probably about that much. Let's take a look. See where we're at. We're at 902, so I actually ate a little too much, but that's okay. I wanted to go for about 700, 750, somewhere around there. I think for my 10, 10 hours of sleep, it'll be. Uh, I'm going to sleep right about here if I can. There we go. Extinguish this. Get something to drink here. For 10 hours of sleep, I think it's like 650. I should know by now. I do it like every night, so. Okay, fair skin bed roll. There we go, 10 hours. Should be good. 675. Alright, let's recover. See you guys in the morning. It's 69 days, 23 hours, 31 minutes. Get our drink before I forget. There we go. Pick up this bed roll. I've never been so hungry in my life. Nope. That's the one I want. Pick it up. There we go. Okay. So, I think everything else I'm leaving here, and I'll come back and grab. Um, I can also, I can, let's go and harvest this carcass and get this hide going here. While we wake up a little bit. Sleepyhead over here. Sun's poking up there. We'll leave this to, uh, we'll leave this to cure right here as well so yeah we got a nice little spot to come back to there we go how am I doing with my gloves and all that I want to see what the condition they're in that's 88% there 72 there gloves are about ready to get repaired so that'll help and then if we do some more repairs on clothing before we try the bedroll plus reading the book maybe we can get up to level 3 and get like I don't know an extra 5-10% chance of success so yeah, I think we're going to time it pretty well. All right, so let me go ahead and stand up, walk out here, see what the weather looks like. It's kind of pretty. It's actually very pretty. And it's 30, negative 30 degrees Celsius, which is, meh, it's not the worst and it's not the best, but we really have clear skies. All right, so saving the game. <laughs> I got to go to the restroom. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Thank you so much for watching.